Let's get right to it. How do you escape the imposter syndrome? Wait, what is the imposter syndrome? The imposter syndrome is an internal experience of believing that you're not as competent as others perceive you to be and that you're a fraud. How do you avoid the imposter syndrome in machine learning and data engineering? You learn the skills you need to excel in the role in the real world. It's that simple. When you're first starting out, don't worry about this. The first few years out of college, you can't be an imposter because you don't know anything to begin with. Now, I'm not being mean. I'm telling you the truth. Working with data in the real world gets complex quickly. When you're first starting out, don't worry about not knowing this or that technology. Just keep learning. Let me give you an example of the imposter syndrome and what it looks like in the real world. I was interviewing a candidate for a machine learning engineer role. Our first question was, how do you export data from SQL Server? Now, the candidate had SQL Server on their resume, so this should have been a softball question. He responded with, well, I don't know SQL that well. We had people at the last company write all our code for all of our models to extract the data. That's an imposter. We listed SQL as a skill, actually as one of our top skills, on the job rec. He put SQL down on the resume. All of our data is housed in relational databases or data warehouses, and we expect our machine learning engineers to be able to know a good deal about SQL. So I thanked him for his time and then canceled the interview. I then responded back to HR to flag his name and resume as wouldn't interview again for any role in the company. This means should he apply for another role at the company, he's going to be turned down immediately. Now, let's forget the fact that he lied on his resume and he got caught. And let's focus on the fact that he's really never worked the true end-to-end -end machine learning pipeline. This is an imposter and this is what you want to avoid at all costs. If you're studying to be a machine learning engineer, and learn all the facets about the machine learning pipeline. That means knowing how to source and cleanse your data. And that means putting that model in prod or helping others put that model in prod. If you want to avoid the imposter syndrome, then learn the job. Learn all of the job, not just one part of that job. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.